Hey guys, it's Alex here with TFP TV, and today we're doing some shooting with an Armalite AR-180 made in Costa Mesa, California. These guns are crude in appearance, and even Armalite's sales pitch was, hey, you can't afford AR-15s? Well, we have this too. I'm not making that up either. In their pitch, they proposed that poorer countries could buy secondhand screw machines and jerry-rig them to make rifle components. Regardless, the gun never really found a buyer, and it proved to be a commercial failure, and when the U.S. put the rifle to the test, it failed twice. That said, this gun does have quite a legacy, but before we discuss that, let's shoot it a little bit. As stated, the rifle does have a great legacy, and the legacy is in the gas system. We always hear AR-18 derived gas system when it comes to a lot of rifles. Here you can see it, it looks a lot like an SVT-40's gas system, but there are some very big differences that we'll get to in a second. Now here I slow it down, it is a short stroke piston gun, and you can see it here, it only travels about a centimeter or so. And I do another freeze frame here so you can see that it's kind of cool, the connecting link also separates from the cylinder for a second. But let's talk about that in depth a bit more. So the gas system is similar to the one found on an SVT-40, but not identical. Both designs have a piston, an operating cylinder, a connecting link, and an op rod, but the AR-18 corrected a flaw in the SVT. The Russian system, and by extension the system found on the G-43, both have extremely loose tolerances, and it's quite a large difference here. The American AR-18 system was designed so that the contact point between the connecting link and the cylinder functions similarly to a ball joint. The patent states that the object of the invention was to provide a lightweight pushrod for gas-actuated pushrod systems by reducing the diameter of the rod, which can bend freely in operation without impairing the operation of the system or inducing a malfunction. This improvement is actually extremely significant, and the AR-180's gas system has been copied in numerous designs, sometimes only aspects, but often even outright copied, like in the British SA-80-L85. All of this results in a pretty reliable system. I've never actually tested one of these by dunking it in dirt, sand, or mud, but they do shoot well and they do run reliably. But that being said, let's get back to shooting it a little bit more. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short look at the Armalite AR-180. It is a historically significant rifle, it shoots well, and it's kind of an interesting firearm in its own right. Anyways, big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the cost of ammo. We hope to see you all next time.